Good afternoon everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today I'm joined with professional or PGA professional Scott McGovern from Alton Hall yep. Golf Academy in Leeds and we're going to be sharing our favourite free holes at Ganton Golf Club and we're going to have a free hole match and guys get in the comments if you play Ganton Golf Club do you agree with the holes we've chose or would you pick three different holes different ones. but we're going to share ours aren't we yeah and, uh, and we're going to play for a pint are we? yeah have you, have you bring your wallet? <laughs> So we're starting off on the eighth fall at Ganton Golf Club. We're playing off the white tees and it's 392 yards. But what a spectacular par four. What a scenic par four. I mean, and uh, yeah. Scott's got the honor because he's two up. He's two up. Am I? I think you are, yeah. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're playing fantastic golf. You know, these, these holes are being won by birdies. So, um, so gorse both sides on this hole. Uh, it looks a lot longer, doesn't it, off tee? Yeah, it does look a lot longer. I mean, a lot of indecision over here. I think downwind, you could get away with hitting an iron and keeping it in the fairway, but uh, I think seeing as though we're on your channel, I'm just going to hit driver. <laughs> I've got a little cushion. Great drive. It's turning a little bit left, but I think it's going to be fine. I think that's the best today, actually, mate. That's great. Oh, God, he's banging it middle of the fairway. You're not going to see a better drive than that today. I'm going to go free wood after that. Because, one, I don't think I can match that drive. <laughs> and, two, I want to go in first at green. You know, I want to... If I can get an advantage here now, after he's hit that drive, it's, it's hitting into green first, because I'm certainly not going to beat him for for length on that one or if I do try I'm going to be uh, probably out of tempo I think I think your first statement were correct <laughs> Scott is a good match play player if you think James gets in your head you need to play with Scott and that's, that's just, nice. that's just good. as good but it won't be as long that's good that Two spectacular tee shots for a spectacular venue. <laughs> it's 107. 107 playing 80, I bet. How far is your drive, by the way? It was 392 yards, this all, and you've got an absolute flick into green. So we have to put this close. What did you say it were again? 106. 106. I'm going to go 54. A controlled one. I don't want to be blown in a, a six. We've got a bit of wind behind us here. Big bounce. Big bounce. Come on. That, that's that's good. That it's not too bad. I mean, it's probably. Oh, it's come up a bit short than I would have liked. I did a little hollow at the front of that green. Yeah. I thought it was going to carry on running. It didn't. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Scott. They've got a lot of these little white sheds. I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're sort of seating areas or something. Sort of I think they uh, I don't think the toilets. I think they're to get out of the uh, the elements. Ah, they could be. Yeah, if it's it raining gets, we're terrain very close to the coast. That's a and great it does get idea. Windy. We're going to be showing them something else today as well. I think it's on the next door or possibly. Next couple of rolls, which I've never ever seen before at a golf club. I couldn't believe when I saw it. <laughs> oh yeah. So, 43 yards. 43 yards, that's, well, it's it's 349 yards if we're being precise. And that's quick maths. So I was getting stick on my channel for maths, <laughs> uh, one of the recent vlogs that I did, but I weren't paying attention to what Lee was saying. I think I was a bit distracted with everything else that I were, were going on around me. happy with that he's got another birdie put he's not ah, happy though no I, was, I, wonder, I would like it a little bit better but I'm I'm okay do you want it in or out I'm going to have it left in it's an extremely long put this on 
pretty pretty slick green from what we're used to playing on this time of season having to adjust to to these and it's a little bit downhill downwind let's see if we get this stiff Come on. Go on, ball. Come on. I just left that sticky distance again. You might be wondering, guys, why you weren't happy with that shot, but Scott's Scott's one of the best wedge players I know inside sort of 50 yards, and, you know, I know he's disappointed with that. I don't know. It's a lot closer than I thought it was. You were, you're you doing some clinics this year, aren't you? Yeah, I do lots of uh, short game clinics with sort of three people. If anyone's in the lead there, we'll tag that one, guys. Um, you know, there's not any... Um, you've helped me with my pitching a lot as well, so I can vouch here on that one. I don't know if that's a good advertisement, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's bad karma. I don't know if this is in now. It's... Um, if you think it's bad now, you, sh you should see what it were like. Well, I weren't expecting you to miss that, but I've got a chance for a half. Level after one. So we're going to be playing our second hole now, the second choice. I don't know if we can call it a favourite hole, but it's a card wrecking hole. Let's go and play it. So it's a 12 full, which is only 365 yards, but I've played in a lot of Yorkshire events. I've seen, you know, scratch golfers make 11s, 10s, you know, double figure numbers on this hole. It's a little bit of a dog leg to right, and you've got a run out, is it 272? It's 270 to the run out, but you can go really aggressive on here. It all depends on how far you hit it. You can take the corner on. I've seen a lot of golfers go directly to green, which I think is about 320 yards, but you risk losing it right. You know, it's just a little bit of a tricky tee shot. And, uh, but I have seen some big scores, and it's one that... They have took a lot of gorse out as well. The gorse be used to be just past the fairway, and it used to yeah. run all the way up the left, so it's become a little bit easier. So I'm going to go between these two trees here. I'm going to, you know, use that as a bit of a start line. If I lose it a little bit to right, there's a bit of room there. So that's the idea. And that, that went left is a little an bit. absolute wild shot. If you wonder why I'm on the tee as well, we're just back to levelling our 18 all match. And uh, yeah. after that tee shot, I'm going to have a long shot in. The pros say, instead of saying I snap hooked that one, I bailed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I bailed out. I've done it again. I should have said this after I hit my shot. I think I'm going to go on the same line, guys. Oh, no. I've done a similar thing. Maybe it's just a curse, Scott. I think mine is okay. I mean, yeah, yours is a lot better, don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's, it's not position A. But it's not your position <laughs> A, is it? No. So I don't know how I've managed to do it, but I've left myself 230 yards in on a 365 yard hole. And uh, I'm going four iron. I'm going to try and hit a good four iron and, and try and get that apron. I don't want to be hitting a fairway wood or anything like that. It's a good strike. It's that a was, very good strike. Oh, it's actually made the green. Happy with that one. So Scott, you know, slightly closer to green. What you got in? One six three, but it's it's definitely a weird lie. It's set up 
if anything, a bit too good if that exists. Some concentration. I have no idea what to hit. I can just oh. He he doesn't like to lose, Scott. <laughs> he does not like to lose. If you want him on your side in a match, you don't want to be playing against him. There's no wrong with that though. It's a little it. bit weak. It, it's come a high out of the face, hasn't it? It was sat. It's always the race. Five off the ground. It was. Uh... Now we're really going to see what your short game's like. There's no <laughs> pressure because this clinic, this clinic's filling up, Scott. Yeah. And these subscribers have got some big expectations. <laughs> it's a big shot for Scott. This. But saying that, I'm not sort of in. I've got a long putt, so not an easy uh, up and down for me either. Oh, he's not let us down. He's not let us down with that one. Well done, Scott. Now, we were on second tee and we thought that someone were flying a kite. But it's actually, it looks like it's a deterrent. But we don't quite know what for, do we? Some animal eating stuff on the green or digging holes, I think. Possibly crows. Get in the comments, guys, if you know what that bird's for. And let's see if we get up and down. It's a really okay. long putt, this one. It's going to need a long backstroke. Come on, get up, get up. It's not bad, not bad. A little bit of a clutch put for Scott here. Well done, never in doubt. Even on these short ones, I always pick a spot halfway, just sort of get my concentration on something and then try and get that ball setting off online. And I just, just all that after all that. Final favourite hole, it's a drivable par four. And we're going to see, well, I'm going to be going for green. I don't know about Scott, but what a little gem of a hole. So all you can see is gorse and hazards but we're still going for it if you ever do approach a hole like this guys i always say the best thing to do is just close your eyes and swing as hard as you can because <laughs> then you can't see the trouble it's a spectacular look in all this oh what a wonderful golf shot what a wonderful shot that's just going to miss front right of the green Fantastic. I love to see, I love playing natural courses, me. This is right up my street. I, you know, for me, it doesn't get any better than this, Scott. I could play here all, day, you know, all, all my life. Oh yes, I bombed it as well. It's a good hit that guys. Similar line? Similar line. I think if anything, we've just not we've probably bottled going for the green, haven't we? We've gone for that little bit of a bail out there on right. Is this your cup of tea guys? I'm definitely a sort of Heathland looking It is a Heathland course, isn't it, Scott this? Heath Gorseland. 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 <laughs> what would you call it guys? It's uh, absolutely phenomenal. This took loads of gorse out. I mean, though. this would probably be a sensible landing area, just in front, just yeah. <laughs> laying up, you know, in between these two bunkers, which would probably be about a, a four iron for most people or a rescue club. I think that's the way the hole's designed to play. But uh, it was just such a tempting shot. There's a big risk of ending up in one of these bunkers and. And I think, unfortunately, me and Scott possibly could have found one of these bunkers on the right. But uh, we did know there were danger. Oh no! 
Oh, look here. If anything, it's going to be interesting. This is not a shot I like, Scott, to be honest. I don't like long distance bunker shots. Left the door open for me. I'm going to try and actually splash this out. Put in. I've took a big cushion of sand there, you know, so it hasn't spun. I don't know what it's finished like. It weren't the best, but... You put in, mate, it's better I'm than where mine is. Good strike. Oh, it's a lovely shot. No way. Oh, wow. What a shot. Short game clinics are running throughout the season. <laughs> <laughs> come down. Come down. Oh, just hit it a bit too high. I'm going to have to see it, Scott. <laughs> oh, 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 is that a uh, <laughs> is that a penalty of any sort? Uh, it's on the spot. It's, it's on, on the, the spot. spot. Okay. Comment in the section down below, guys. Do you think he just nudged it further to the hole? He has got the minerals, never in doubt. So this I'm is apologising for making you put that book. Really off. I think the subscribers like to see them all put it out, you know. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Well, we're like the 18th of the playoff. We could do if you want to see. A, it is a good. We've just been saying, guys, off camera. We could have picked any three holes today, and they would, would have all been fantastic. Yeah. We would have loved to have done an eighteen-year-old vlog. I cannot tell you. How, it's one hundred percent. I can see why it's number one in Yorkshire. Yeah. There's nothing beats it for me. I played. I played a lot of course in Yorkshire. I think I probably played them all. No, and I always say from the Leeds Wakefield area, you're going to struggle to find anywhere better within an hour and a half. I like Old Woodley. You know, that's another one of my favourites. Yeah. So we're going to play these courses, aren't we? Guys, we're not going to finish this match here. We're going to chuck an extra hole in because we're just absolutely loving it, aren't we? I don't like half in matches. <laughs> I'd rather lose. <laughs> so if you've uh, if you've played here before, you might be wondering what's happened with all the sand here. And they've took a lot of gorse out, haven't they, Scott? I think that was just a wasteland area that was sort of overgrown, but it's uh, they've made it into one humongous bunker. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks really nice. Gives it a lot of character. So guys, we're on uh, the 18th fall here at Ganton and it's all square in all matches. It's all square in our free old vlog. It's all square in the 18 all match. And what a spectacular looking tee shot this is. Yeah, I've kind of forgot. The landing area. The distance for the run out. We should, do you know, this is a course, you said this earlier, didn't you? You need a course guide if you play yeah, here, guys. Yeah, definitely. A lot of pot bunkers, a lot of areas where you, you, know, you need to know your landing zones. It looks like Scott's going safe. It's 400 yards downhill, so I think you know you're certainly going to get there with two irons, aren't you? Yeah, I've got a four iron. I think I'm going to join you on that one. I think I'm going to hit it towards the white. Yeah, bush. Definitely. There's no point in chasing it. There's no point in a driver of free wood. I mean, no. I mean, you have to hit through a gap in the trees over yeah. the road to the green. You can hit a decent shot and you get really blocked out with your second. So I think your shorter it is, of course, might hit a driver of free wood. You know, to to leave yourself a reasonable approach, but. So you can drive her over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's not a laughing match, it's all square this match. There's a lot, lot riding on it. Big five pound. No, it's pride. It's pride, yeah. It's pride. Out in all the Huddersfield fixed bit. Well, 
it's uh, a good line I will not say any more about the strike I don't know <laughs> I don't think so you know I think that's too far left we'll see it's gone four as well well the marker pole's over there isn't it yeah but it's over the marker pole if you want <laughs> I'm going to favour that side, I think. I have gone Marco Polo, a little bit of draw. I placed that Marco Polo there earlier. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a good shot, guys. <laughs> so aesthetically, we're just walking to 18 Fairway. And for me, whoever's thought of this, you know, they, they need putting in history books at this <laughs> golf club because that is just fantastic. You know, what a, f what a finishing walk to 18 fairway. This is incredible. Five. It's Scott one says it's 185. The pin does look. The flags here aren't colour coordinated. Yeah. Red is back nine. That looks back of the green. Seems a long way in, but you don't look it. That's the thing. You've got to trust these distances. It's a long green, this one. One eight five. You know, I want to hit an eight, but I feel like I need a seven to get there. I think seven's a good choice. It's downwind. A little seven. Solid seven. Scott's saying solid, I'm saying little. We'll see. Oh, is that good? Hold it's that line. A little bit right. Hold that line. I think I'm just short right of the green. I think Scott were right. It were a solid seven. What a spectacular finish, all. And wait till you see the clubhouse as well, guys. Such a traditional English golf clubhouse. I think it's fantastic. I love tradition. And uh, I love the fact that we've still got a lot of it in the UK. Ooh. One thirty-four. Oof. I have made the green, Scott, so I'm putting. And you've got one thirty-four in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go 50, 54. I keep bigging this man up, but he is very good from this distance. Oh, it's a lovely strike. Go ball! Tad left into it, but it's... Uh, Oh, it's well short. Oh, it is a bit short. Oh. It's going to go right to wire this one, guys. So we're just walking to, oh, so we're just approaching 18th green. We've got the clubhouse here on the right with one of the biggest putting greens I've ever seen. I think it's 80 yards long. I think it's 80 yards long. I think there's 18 holes on it as well. I think there is. It's absolutely huge. You might just be able to see our balls on the green. I'm just there short right and Scott's short left can't split us yeah it's just on Scott he's got a long put and he will be going for it he's not shy but he needs to be careful with that wind behind slightly downhill could easily get away with him if he's too aggressive Certainly has. Not a great putt, young man. No. Not given. <laughs> Concentration is massive. It's 
stay up. No. Good wait. Do we go good, good good? I don't think we do, but I think uh, if, if we were off camera, I'd definitely be saying good good. I don't know, we've got an hour and 20 minute car journey home. <laughs> we've got to finish it off, haven't we? Yeah. We've come all this way. Somebody could be heartbroken. That all looks a lot smaller now. Yes! <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> right, positive. Get negative thoughts out of your mind. Pick that spot, guys. I've got the spot, this is nothing. Well in. Had to just stay positive. Yeah. What <laughs> well a game. We, we put that extra roll <laughs> in, guys, because we just want to get as much as we could in today. There's nothing that could have split us. We've all played nice golf, haven't we? Yeah, I think. I don't know what we are. We're all level. I mean, obviously, you, Scott got to two up at one stage, and yeah. you know, I think I made a couple of birdies quite close, and we got back to to level. But I think just to finish, this is one of the best courses I've ever played. It's a top eight in England. Yeah, I mean, even in the winter time, you can you're never going to come here and have it's dry as a bone all year round. You're never going to have a bad experience. No, absolutely fantastic. You can take our word on that, and we are going to be trying to visit some of the the best courses around England, aren't we? We're going to make a little bit of a series of it. Well, there's quite a few in the lead, so Tuesday mornings are good for me. I know yeah. Tuesday mornings are good for you. There's All Woodley, Moortown. Uh, we've got Fulford, which is 30 minutes away from us as well. If there's any courses you'd like to see us visit, guys, you know, get in the comments and, uh, yeah, we're going to be making our way around the UK and, and sharing some of these fantastic courses with you. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed it and it's been a Cheers, pleasure. Mate. Thank you. I'm loving my <laughs> golf again.